This season on Motorcycle Experience, it seems like dual sport bikes and maxi scooters are all the rage. And BMW Motorrad's new C600 Sport certainly helps to throw a little fuel on the fire. At the heart of this puppy is a super smooth 650cc liquid-cooled fuel-injected inline twin, mated to a fully automatic twist-and-go CVT transmission. This C600 Sport has an impressive power to lightweight ratio, thanks in part to its aluminum die-cast frame and single-sided swing arm, mounted up with 15-inch aluminum cast wheels. The spec sheet also gets maxed out thanks to the beefy 40mm inverted fork and the dual 270 discs that sport standard ABS stopping power. That's pretty impressive DNA on paper, but how does the C600 work out on the open road? Well, here's longtime viewer and first time maxi scooter rider, Ellen Foster, with her full on impression. Well, Ellen, we kind of threw a curveball at you this morning. You showed up all set to ride that V Strom 650, and instead we said, <laughs> scooter, 600cc sports scooter, that's what you want today. Gee, thanks, Dave. <laughs> I was really looking forward to this, you know, the, 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 adventure, the, bike, the yes. adventure bike, the Wii Strom. But, anyways, this was pretty good. It's, um, it's not your father's scooter anymore. So, in that regards, it's like, okay, let's give it a shot. Never really been on a scooter before. So, yeah. it, uh, BMW's done a, a nice job on it, it really has. Yeah, I know you're a die hard adventure, you know, standard rider, and I thought, let's just Let's just try somebody who's never been on something like this. So 600 cc's, twin cylinder motor, what did you think of the power? Actually, it's good power. It's only got uh, 60 horse, but the torque. It's, I'm not sure what the torque is on it, the, the numbers are, but when you go to pull out or give it, uh, I was gonna say go through the gears, but you don't go through the gears on this because it's got, it's fully automatic transmission with the CVT. Yep. Don't ask me to explain it, I can't, but it's full automatic transmission. And that actually makes it quite nice. It, it, it's totally different, uh, but the torque you do get in situations where you have to pull or pass or you're pulling onto someone and someone's coming up behind you in a hurry. I prefer the torque over the horsepower myself. Stopping is also a little different. You mentioned there's no gears, there's no clutch, there's no shifting, but stopping is also different. You've got a right brake for the front, you've got a left brake for the rear. How did you find the stopping power? Well, because I am the old, you know, traditional motorcycle, I was still using the right brake and my two fingers on like I always do when I'm riding. I'm so used to this being a clutch, I tried to keep my hand off it as much as possible because I was afraid of putting myself over the windshield when you grab a fistful of what you think is clutch right. and get me up off the seat. And we were we were all on paved roads today. We really weren't on any dirt or gravel where I could try out the ABS. It does have the ABS on it. It flashes at you every time you start it up. You know you've got ABS. Yep. But I didn't have an opportunity to try that. So it's um, it's easy to maneuver and get around. It, it feels, uh, to me, I, I was amazed at how sort of small and light it felt for a 600. Well, and that and I think it's uh, like almost 550 pounds 549 or something um, with full fluids and everything it is very nimble I was just kind of fun in and out if there was pylons really pretending you know back and forth just seeing how nimble it was it handled very well I was surprised also because the weight is all below you scooters it's always important to have a lot of storage and um how do you the like way, this? It's neat the way it just pops up like that. Yeah. Now I had to have someone show me because originally I thought, ooh, there's not a lot of room in there. Where do you put your second helmet? And then it was shown to me there's a button here that you can push and then this, there. See how that released? That just pops right on down and that is so you can have your main, the driver can have the main helmet and then your passenger or whatever. That's clever. It is. And uh, I was told that you can, there's a, a safety mechanism in here, like a dead man switch. You cannot start the bike or pull with away that with, with, with that down. Nice. Which if you look at the clearance of the wheel, that's a good thing. Yeah. But I didn't try that out, but I was told that it's, there's a dead man switch in there. So if you were traveling with a passenger, you actually have about half that room. You could fill in for overnight, whatever, a uh, couple of nights, yeah. and then still pop your own hel helmet in. Now, this is fully automatic. You've got no clutch, no gears. Viewers at home are gonna say, well, how do you leave it 
parked without it rolling and moving around if you can't leave it in gear, you know well, what I mean? I had the same problem because we were waiting for you and we're, we're waiting for you to join us. So we're, our four bikes are all parked up on kind of an in, enough of an incline. When you put the side stand down, there's the brakes activate automatically. That's so cool. So yeah. here it is just in its normal resting mode and it's rolling around, right? That, that could mean trouble. Well, but, that's what I thought. But, but look at that, you put it in, put that down and and they automatically it's got a break. Yes. Yeah, parking so brake. I, I didn't, I had clever. To, it was very clever. I thought that because, like I said, many occasions I would normally leave a standard bike in gear. Yeah. Because just enough of an incline, you want to come back and not see it slightly rolled or on its side or something. So, was there anything you didn't like about the bike? No, I wouldn't say I did, wouldn't dislike it, but I don't think it would be a bike you could. I would take to Vancouver. Right. I think it's great for. Fabulous for in, in cities, in town, weekend excursions yeah. and all that. It was fun, but I don't think, you know, a weekend getaway is about the size Maybe of Maybe the cottage, something like that. Exactly. Right. But all in all, I thought it was a fun bike. It was a lot more fun than I was expecting from the scooter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your father's scooter anymore. And so I think most people would be... Uh, New, new riders particularly, because you don't have to worry about the automatic trans, the gears with the automatic transmission. Yeah. And knowing that there's brakes now when you put the side stand down. Um, but in the city around going commuting, not even in the city, commuting into the country. I live in the country going into the city to work. You yeah. know, that it's uh, with the wind protection particularly, it, yeah. Thumbs up. I think so, I, yes, two thumbs up. I would agree, it was, it was a fun little bike. Scooter, 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 bike, scooter, yeah. <laughs> something. Yes. It's a sport machine. It's a sport machine. <laughs> nice job. Uh, thank you, Dave. It's a pleasure as always. Good stuff.